Welcome back. NIIT Limited just reported their Q4 numbers. Now, the company, remember, has two businesses. One is Corporate Learning, CLG, and then they have a skills and career business. The company had announced a few months back that they're planning to demerge these two businesses, and that demerger is effective in terms of the financial numbers. Now, NIIT Limited is going to house the skills and the career business. SNC is what the company calls it. That's about 20% of roughly of their overall revenues. While the other business, the corporate learning group, CLG business, which is a majority of their revenues, close to about you know 80% or plus, uh, that will come under NIIT Learning Systems Limited, NLSL. So in terms of the financials now, what you can see on the screen is actually the demerged business. So we are joined by Rajendra Singh Pavar, the chairman and co-founder of the NIIT group. And we're going to talk with him about both the entities. Um, you, know, you know, Mr. Pavar, thank you very much for joining in. For the benefit of our viewers, let me just quickly you know, outline the numbers that have been announced under the two groups. Now, the skills and career groups, NIIT Limited, as it will be called, has reported an FY23 revenue growth of 36% at 341 crore, though the EBITDA has only come in at 1 crore. So the margins are quite low at 0.3%. Uh, though Q4 revenues for the skills and career business would be under pressure, and I think it would be down close to about 27% on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis um, and lower on a year-on-year -year basis. The career... Uh, you know, career learning group, CLG business, which will now get housed on the NIIT learning systems, has clocked in a good quarter. Um, in terms of a revenue growth, there is, I think it's close to about 6%, uh, quarter on quarter, 30% on a year on year basis. And even for the full year, revenue growth is at 20%, with margins at 23.2%. It's lots of numbers, Mr. Pavar, uh, you know, for our viewers to digest. But let's start with both these entities, and I'm going to start with the career learning group business, NLSL. Now, here it's a strong showing. Q4 revenue growth, 34%. For the full year, you've clocked in about a 20% growth. And Q4 has done well, despite you earlier guiding for a flat performance, you've actually managed to grow this business. What can you guide now for FI24, and when do you think NL NLSL is going to be listed? Many questions, uh, and thanks so much, Reema, for trying to explain it to our viewers as easily as you can. Uh, maybe a, se a few few seconds on the the demerger. So, NID Limited. Out of that, we demerged the corporate learning business, as we used to call it, NLSL, mm. uh, which uh, which is a top five in the top five of global learning outsourcing businesses. It's on a very strong trajectory, as we've, as we've been mentioning for the last couple of years. And I think it's poised to work towards global leadership over the next few years. So very strong wicket, very strong trajectory. And this entity will be headed by Sapnesh Lala as CEO and executive director. And it's poised for very strong growth on the trajectory it already has. And you talked about the growth, which is 20% year over year. It's been a strong year, though like many things happening in the sector and talent issues in the last quarter, there's been a bit of a surprise and we expect that to even out as we go through the second half of this year, uh, because there is a bit of adjustment happening in the IT sector on talent. Banking mm. of course remains okay. So, so far as NLSL is concerned, it's a very strong wicket, a bit of a push in this quarter, uh, but going forward, we see good growth during the course of the year. So let's uh, talk about... Limited, yeah. Go ahead. NIT Limited, on the other hand, will be going through a very significant change, and that's the big aspect which will, I think, which needs to be elaborated. So we're going to... First of all, the, the, the market has been turbulent. We've heard right from November or December, and particularly in January and February, of the IT sector being challenged and being in a kind of a stall mode, and therefore not adding people, and corporates also therefore cutting down on expenses like training, that tends to happen. So it's been a bit sudden in this quarter, and I think all of you tracked and talked about it, and we see it as something which will clean up itself over a period of time. But for NIT Limited, which deals with individuals, and corporates in India, uh, we are actually making some very significant changes going forward. We see that this challenge 
and then the whole ed tech challenge and the money which came in during covid and got slowed down mm. it's been a turbulent time and like it right. has happened for us in the last 40 years we actually find that the turbulent times bring out the best in us and we sure. come out mr pavar mr so pavar just a few questions Sorry to interrupt. Uh, you know, I understand that it's going through a turbulent time. There are macro headwinds, but particularly for NIIT Limited, which will be a skills and career group, uh, your Q4 revenues are about 67 crore. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I was just back calculating from the full year numbers. Uh, this is a marked step down from the 90 crore plus that you did from Q1 to Q3. Is this the new run rate of about 65, 70 crore? and even at the ebitda level because of the drop in the revenues you are you have posted an ebitda loss is this the run rate we should expect sir going ahead for niit limited no no, no absolutely not i think this been the sudden shock of train of it companies not hiring i think you reported that it companies delaying even the joining dates and also companies cutting down on training is a phenomena which we see will pan out will change in the next about a quarter or so and so the second half they will get back to doing what they have to do which is to train their people but okay. what we are doing i think as a company is important for me to make some quick points so first of all we will be broad basing the sectors in which we operate so that's part of the thing which has been in in work and the reason for the demerge are also to create a focus for this company as distinct from the other one which is global companies doing multi million dollar multi year contract so here we have been 80% of our business or individuals who come to us are for it about Correct. 15% for banking and 5% for the sector this we are going to broad base this is the first important change in direction sure. because the emerging areas like new manufacturing like supply chain management like engineering r and d like design those are right. where all our new offerings will happen so there's one dimension one vector of growth Got the it. second Got vector it. of growth is you know the world went to online fully during covid because there was no option and after that when things have come back people have realized that that was really not good good effective learning so a hybrid is required now we, we we believe that having done physical as well as technology for the last four decades we are in a position to redesign the new hybrid model which will take the best okay. out of what we learned during covid but also make a blended model or a hybrid model and with a lot of ai thrown in which i think all of us are aware that helps in learning takes time so the second big vector of growth is the learning model is going Got through it. a change Got and finally it. to so make all broad this happen, base so broad yeah, base in your exposure and hi, okay last point i have to make is we are repurposing the board we've added three outstanding new directors i think the information would be with you and the last one we added was a person who's the the founder of india's only or the first ai unicorn just to add capability and the other was the ex ceo of flipkart and the other third person we added is avni who was the first a founding ceo of starbucks so we added a lot of change in the in the board and as we've said today that the mm. the founding directors are going to roll up their sleeves and redesign the business for the future like we did at post.com and then 2008 Yes. So these three changes we think are going to be putting us on the trajectory which will bring out bring NIT into this future. Noted. So Mr. Pawar so, we are so unfortunately we... Co- completely out of time but we take those three growth vectors on board and wish NIT limited 2.0 the very best of luck. Uh with that we are going to wrap up on Midcap Radar. Thank you for watching.